hey you guys welcome back to my channel so today i am doing a 15 week bump date so it's basically a pregnancy update but here on youtube we call it bump dates so i am here to talk about my pregnancy and just some of the things i have been experiencing in week 15 and um yeah so let's begin let's begin i wrote some notes down that way i'm not all over the place um i can say week 15 i feel great like i'm not feeling i mean of course i'm still dealing with symptoms and things like that but i'm not feeling some of the things i was feeling in the first trimester i, I was um I mean, I know I was taking a medication that was a, a medicine that I was on and they were kind of debating about taking me off of it. And I feel like since they have taken me off of the medicine, I feel a lot better. Like I'm not experiencing a lot of nausea, a lot of vomiting. Um, so I don't know if that was, if, if my nausea that I was having um, into this second, um, I had nausea and vomiting in the first and second trimester but I don't know if that was related to medicine or if that was just the baby so um but since they decided to take me off of the medicine I, I feel good some of the symptoms I've been feeling or getting is dry skin it's like no matter what I do my skin is dry like you could take a match and just strike it across my head and probably start a fire like my skin is dry normally like pre-pregnancy when my skin would you know get dry or i have like little dry phases on my skin i could easily combat it or i could easily get the dryness to go away but during pregnancy for me it has been hard i've been trying and testing out different products and nothing seems to work for my little dryness that i have um i do experience a little bit of acne i do use acne free you can find that that's like a three-step treatment you can find that at walmart so if you're pregnant and you're going through that you might want to test it out um i do notice that my skin is extra sensitive things that i could normally use to um, combat uh pimples and breakouts on my skin I can't even put it on my skin because it hurts and it burns. So I can normally use clean and clear. I can't put clean and clear on my skin anymore because it burns as soon as I put it on. And that has been since being pregnant. Next one is exhaustion or and tiring out easily. So the things that didn't, you know, tire me out pre-pregnancy, I'm finding that they are I'm I tire very easily so I could walk up the step up the stairs of my house and that puts me down for about 30 minutes or even when I was working in the salon I could stand for hours my like my body is physically used to that and it got to a point where I would really find myself getting exhausted really really easily um I was at the store the other morning and just me walking around the store and I came home I had to, to like lay down that whole day so I'm learning now at first it wasn't easy for me to understand because this is my first pregnancy I'm learning to go with the flow of my body so whatever my body wants to do if I want to rest I rest um and that's what I did uh cravings I'm not really having a lot of cra cravings some days I will you know want one specific thing and it's random things it's not like the same thing every day um I one day I wanted ice cream that hasn't been big in my pregnancy that was like the first time and only time but one day I wanted ice cream uh, one time I wanted uh Cajun boiled peanuts so it's been different things I know in the first trimester I had aversions meaning I just, certain things I couldn't stand. I couldn't stand the thought of it, the sight of it, the smell of it, the just thinking about certain things would just make me throw up. In the first trimester, I opened the refrigerator. We had a fresh bell pepper in the, in the refrigerator and I threw up just looking at it. So I, I'm better now, but um, something that I was doing when I was experiencing the nausea and vomiting, I was drinking a low calorie and 
I think it's low calories and zero carbs. Um, and I would drink that like while I was having my little nausea and vomiting episodes. After it all came up, I would drink that and that would end it. I have been experiencing um, the headaches and the migraines. Like there was a day where I had a migraine for like 24 hours and you know, everything else has been fine. I've been hydrated. I've been, um, my pressure hasn't been up. It's just another thing that you deal with in pregnancy. And I went to get Tylenol, even though I'm like, mm, I don't really want to take, even though they say Tylenol is safe. I'm in so many pregnancy groups and I saw some articles saying that it's not the best thing to to take while pregnant, even though doctors will approve it. So I took Tylenol last night, but that's probably my last time taking it. I think I took, I've taken Tylenol twice within this pregnancy. Um, shortness of breath. I noticed, you know, coming up the stairs, I used to, cause pre-pregnancy I was working out, you know, probably every day. Um, and I was doing keto, so coming up the stairs was nothing to me, and I wouldn't be out of breath. But coming up the stairs now, I have to take, I have to come to halfway up the stairs, stop, take a deep breath, and then come up the stairs because that is a whole entire breathing episode. So I'm kind of getting used to it coming up, coming up the stairs in my pregnant body. However, um, it's been kind of hard. Even when I'm talking and conversing with people, sometimes I have to stop and take a deep breath because it's, it's hard. <laughs> um, sometimes I can feel like movement and I'm like, okay, that wasn't really like strong. So I don't know if, you know, I'm like, is that the baby or not? Sometimes when I lie on my right side, I can feel movement. Um, but yeah, I'm like, is that the baby moving? Um, some women say that they can feel um, their babies. Like if you've had a baby before, then they say that you can feel it sooner. But me, I haven't had a baby before. So I have felt a little bit of movement already. I was a little bit unsure, but I know it wasn't gas. It wasn't, you know, anything like that. My stomach wasn't growling. I felt a little bit of movement. Um, but it's not often or it's not hard or like, a, you know, when the baby gets bigger, you'll feel it more often, I'm guessing. And it'll be more of a, you definitely feel it and you know for sure that that's the baby. So right now I'm kind of like, oh, you know, I was a little unsure, but kind of sure if that makes sense. Now I'm moving on to the activities and the preparations. So um, some days I will go for a two mile walk. Pre-pregnancy I was doing four miles, but I thought I could still do that. And baby, let me tell you, I went for a four mile walk and I was down the entire day. I think I slept the whole day from doing that. And it it's okay. Like I really had to learn because at first I struggled with having to rest and, you know, like sitting down when I need to. Because, you know, just me feeling like, oh, I didn't want to, I don't want to, you know, feel like I'm using the pregnancy as an excuse. But pregnancy is not an excuse, but it is a reason to sit down somewhere, get some rest. And now nobody has to tell me twice when I'm tired, I sit down. When I need to rest, I, I rest. I don't rest all day, but there has been days where I needed to just give my body a break because I was exhausted. And now I'm to the point where I can do it and just make no apologies about it. Like, you know, it would be me feeling bad. Even my husband would be telling me like, you need to rest, it's okay to rest. But on, internally, I'm like, no, I need to do this and do that. Now, I don't worry about it. If I need to rest, I rest so um yeah so I will do the two miles and for the most part my husband and I will do the two miles in the evening and um when I come back from doing that two miles I am tired and I'm ready to take a shower and go to sleep so I can still do two miles because my body was used to doing 
you know, walking and things like that. So I still want to keep up some level of physical activity. I will try to look into the like second trimester workouts and things like that to strengthen my core. And well, I don't know about strengthening the core, but I'm just going to be looking into all that stuff. I've never did this before. I don't know what to expect and basically do those things to prepare my body for delivery. So um, let's see. Um, and I talked about resting um, whenever I'm exhausted. So ladies, please make sure whenever you are tired, you sit down. You just stop what you're doing because how the exhaustion hits me, it just, it takes over my body and my body doesn't care what I'm doing. My body doesn't care if I'm driving, if I'm walking or if I'm cooking. It's like that energy level just comes all the way down. So I'm learning to just listen to that body and and do do whatever it wants you to do. Um, let's see. So I am taking a class at my um, OB. It's like a, like not only do I have my own pregnancy appointments, including ultrasounds and uh, listening to baby's heartbeat and things like that. We have something that they offer here um, on the base. I live on uh, Fort Stewart. They have, um, what is it called? Centering Pregnancy. And it's basically like a group prenatal class where you come together with other women who are due around the same time as you. And um, I started doing that class. And you can Google it or look it up and see what it, um, you know, what the centering pregnancy class is all about. But it's basically preparing you and teaching you about birth, about pregnancy, about pre-pregnant, I mean, postpartum. It teaches you a lot of things um, to help you get ready to birth the baby and to be a new mother. Um, they talk about diet, nutrition. It's a two hour class. So I started taking that and um, I'm glad I got a lot of great and helpful information. Um, some of the things I already knew because I was doing research and, you know, I have the pregnancy apps on my phone and it gives me articles. So some of the stuff I already knew, but um, it's still a great class. And then they gave us a book that has pages that shows us everything that we'll be doing over these next um, couple of, or not couple, but over these next months. So that has been helpful. So I'm doing that to prepare myself for baby. And if they, I think they do have the birthing classes or I think that switches or transitions to a birth class. I'm not sure, but um, yeah, it's definitely a good class. And that's helping me with the preparation. Um, let's see. Oh, I also watch morning and nighttime baby routines with, you know, real moms on YouTube, just showing you different things that they do in the morning, showing you do, uh, different things that they do at nighttime with their baby. Um, so I see some, kind of some of the same things, but it just shows me, um, you know, what my husband and I could do when we bring our baby home. YouTube has been very clutch for me. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, I also just stay um, stress-free and whatever that looks like for you. Um, I just try my best to, to, to remain stress-free, um, avoid anything that's negative, um, enjoy, your, enjoy your pregnancy. I can say I'm learning to enjoy my pregnancy. At first I was a little nervous um like about enjoying my pregnancy and you know at first I had a hard time believing like am I really pregnant but yeah I'm kind of getting past that and I'm learning to just embrace every moment because it is so beautiful just embrace every moment take pictures of your bump your belly as it grows um just have fun like celebrate and I put that on here um I take pictures and I celebrate like my husband and I, we did our 
baby announcement pictures and we did that on mother's day so that was fun that was a celebration for us um we just hung out that morning and then we came home decorated um and took our pictures and posted it on social media to do our announcement so that was fun tomorrow we'll be doing something similar because we are going to a 3d or 4d ultrasound facility and they will be um they will be telling us the gender of the baby so we're excited about that so every moment every milestone anything that you can celebrate celebrate even if it's big or small celebrate take your pictures do whatever you want to do um if you want a baby shower have a baby shower um even if it's something big or small just don't look back and say oh i wish i would have did a baby shower i wish i would have did a pregnancy announcement you know these are your moments to enjoy so make sure you do it also let's see i put um laugh often it is so it's healthy it's good for you and it's good for the baby and your body is releasing those feel-good hormones when you laugh so watch a comedy look at something that makes you laugh just try to stay in a good mood as much as possible and that is going to help you because that's what i do i like comedies you know pre-pregnancy but make sure you're laughing and just enjoying yourself any way that you can and my last but not least is to pray so make sure you pray pray over your baby when i tell you that is one of the first things we do is we pray for our baby every morning um and when i for me i think when we're praying for our baby it helps me to start the day off not worrying not you know concern with me with you know it just it just takes any type of burdens off of you and you put it in the hands of the lord so when i pray for that day i can go on about my day not worrying knowing that hey i put every thought every concern into the hands of god and that's what i do and so i know that this baby is a gift and a blessing from the lord and I'm just going to continue praying throughout the pregnancy. And yeah, so if I have any more updates, I don't know. So once I do this video, I don't even know when I'm going to edit and upload the video. I might include the gender reveal in here um, or like a little clip of the gender reveal in here. So yeah. So thank you guys for watching this video. Did you guys have any of the same symptoms? Are you 15 weeks? Um, what symptoms are you guys experiencing? Um, leave them down below. What are you doing to make your pregnancy better? Are you, you know, experiencing any type of nausea, vomiting? Make sure you leave it all down in the comment section. And thank you guys so much for watching. But now I'm about to show you my belly at 15 weeks. And I think I'm 15 weeks of I'm 15 weeks and three days, so. So here is my bumpity bump bump. So this is my little bump. Some people, you know, they don't have a bump. Some people do have a bump. But yeah. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.